In this video, we'll talk about information bias. First, what is information bias? It is people's tendency to seek information when it does not influence decision. More information is not always better. We tend to overvalue information in general, and particularly in high stakes decision making. High stakes increase our curiosity in the information, even when the information has no effect on our decisions. We seek information based not only on its actual benefit, but also on the anticipation of its benefit. We tend to think that new information stacks on top of old information until some mental threshold is reached for making a decision. In reality, however, information aggregation is much closer to an exponential function. The first few pieces of information are weighted much more heavily than later information. We tend to use the first piece of information to reach our decision, but fail to integrate new information to update our decision. Here is an article arguing that we use less information than we think to make up our minds. The argument can be applied to leadership as well. As leaders, we may take pride in making decisions that are data driven, data informed, and evidence based. Presumably, we hope that more data lead to more informed decisions. In fact, we use less information than expected when we make decisions. Imagine that I have information on whether you have genetic predisposition to specific forms of cancer. Would you want to know this information or not? Yes or no? In an experiment, researchers posed the same question online to 400 individuals. About 58% of the respondents said yes, and the rest of 42% of respondents said no. We usually fail to appreciate the immediacy of judgment instead of assuming that we will consider more information and more data before making judgment than we actually do. Even after paying costs to seek and share ever more information, we do not incorporate it into our judgment. We sometimes make decisions very fast, but we do not fully appreciate how quickly we make up our mind. Instead, we assume that we will consider more information before making decisions than we actually do. When we meet strangers, how long does it take for us to form our judgment about the stranger's attractiveness, likability, trustworthiness, competence, and aggressiveness? As short as a hundred milliseconds, it takes one tenth of a second for us to form our first impression after seeing a stranger's face. Do we make a more accurate judgment of a stranger if we have more time? Not really. More time does not improve our judgment accuracy, but only increase our confidence. In judgment, we fail to anticipate how little information we use when make decisions. In another study of teacher evaluation, a principal's ratings of high school teachers' job evaluation were significantly predicted by the judgment of teachers' nonverbal behavior based on short, silent video clips that were under thirty seconds. That's only half a minute. A new study finds that obtaining new information can be addictive. We sometimes can't stop asking for more data, even when we are not expecting anything new from the data. Blame our brain. Information acts on the brain's dopamine-producing reward system in the same way as financial rewards, food, and drug. For example, food. 
either nutritious food or junk food, activates the brain regions specifically known to be involved in valuation, which are part of the dopamine reward system. The dopamine reward system produces dopamine, making us have pleasurable feelings. But it does not tell whether the system trigger is good or bad, like nutritious food or junk food, painkiller or addictive drug. Information triggers our brain's dopamine reward system in a similar way, no matter how useful the information is. Just like our brains overvalue empty calories from junk food, our brain overvalues information that makes us feel good but may not be useful in decision making. Many organizations, schools included, have been awash in data and information. More often than not, we accumulate massive amounts of data, but a few major insights. The value of the amount of data is frequently overvalued. In fact, smart companies are often cutting down their data. We don't always need much data to find important insights. We need the right data to make wise decisions. Otherwise, we are easily lost and get buried in mountains of data. In this video, we talk about the information bias. We tend to seek information when it does not influence decision. More information is not always better. Now it is time for you to provide an example of the information bias and reflect on how it influences decisions made by you or the people around you.